Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, tournament number one of the year. Yeah, it's already that time again. We don't take much time off in the little tournament series that I fish. We have our classic in September. We take off the month of October and then we hit it again in November. And so here we are. It is a very, very cold morning this morning. Current time is probably like 5.45, almost six o'clock. We can get on the water at six, lines in at seven, lines out at three, and we're gonna see what we can get done today. I'm, I'm honestly not sure what's gonna happen. I found some fish down here the other day when I came in practice, but it was nothing like crazy. You know, nothing that I thought is your tournament winning fish, but definitely fish that could be caught, which I think in today's tournament's gonna be huge because the low tonight, or this previous night was like in the low 20s. Today's high is only gonna be in the 40s. And so, yeah, we're gonna see what we can get done today. I'm glad you clicked on this video though, and uh, I'm gonna shut up because I'm freezing. I'm gonna get some hot hands going. We're gonna get the old kayak down to the water here. We're gonna wait for it to get time to go, and we're gonna get after it and see what we can get done today. But yeah, let's uh, let's get after it. All right, guys, we're making our way back in to where we started this morning. I paddled out and fished my way out about half of a mile outside of this area. I did some more kind of like bluffed out main lake river kind of stuff. Ended up getting that one bite on the Ned Rick, which was that little spot, which is not going to help me any. And so now we're making our way back in here to this shallow stuff. We're going to go check it out and see what's up with it. I'm thinking now that the sun has been able to get on it for a minute, warm it up just a little bit that maybe these fish are going to be a little more active a little more apt to eat something because this morning they were just shut down and then literally floated over one that was sitting on the bottom not even moving the only thing that was moving was this gill so these fish are cold i mean this has been a massive cold front that's moved through here and it's dropped the temperatures dropped the surface temperature and that's hard i mean these fish just don't react well to that and so we're going to see if uh a little bit of sun has warmed it up enough to get these fish to eat so yeah guys it's tough i'm freezing but uh just gotta put your head down on a day like today and just grind and grind and grind but i'll be honest if i get three bites that are big enough to put on this board i may put them on this board and then load this pack and go sit in the warm truck and find something to eat because i'm freaking freezing but uh yeah i'm just kidding i'm gonna stay after it maybe i'm not be kidding I didn't say fudge. I said the word. Well, there's a bite that I needed that I was talking about. 
He ate it right next to the freaking kayak, man. Right next to the kayak. I mean, like, I literally was about to pull that bait out of the water, and he pulled the rig back down on the into the water. I think that's why that fish came off, is because I was short lining him, trying to bounce him up in here, and he just... He, <laughs> I boat flipped him, and he flipped right out of the kayak. So, that's a good sign, though. That's a bite. So, uh, what we're going to keep in our hand, then, is the old Alabama rig, and just keep on hammering on him. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wacky rig it. Or EWG it. Really? There we go. Bingo. <laughs> hey, Jacob with the assist on the Max Scent Generals. Thank you, sir. Hey, I didn't. that shit all right guys 13 and three quarter first yeah. one on the board for the day yeah. all right guys there's first one on the day on a uh, green pumpkin weightless texas rigged general I gotta thank Jacob for the assist on that one because he uh, he ended up having a few. I forgot to grab my generals last night like a dummy. Um, but yeah, there's first one in the kayak for today. So I, it's not a total loss. I gotta go to check in now though because I gotta get my points. Fish number two, and a big one, but he's a fish. All right, guys, a little 12 and a quarter there. One more and we got a limit. All right, guys, well, we've got one hour left on the clock. I actually moved out of that area where I was catching those fish. I'm gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes. While I'm letting that rest, I'm gonna throw this Alabama rig down this bluff wall and see if we can pick up our third fish. I would have a limit if I hadn't already lost one on this Alabama rig, but that was just, that was a total brain fart, fluke, weird mess is what that was. So 
nothing we can do about it now other than just keep on fishing and try to put the third one in the kayak and honestly that's my goal before the end of the day is just to get a limit because it has been a tough day to say the least i have no idea what's winning this thing and i'll be honest i've not even looked so that could be really getting my teeth stomped in or i could be doing decent but we'll just see i mean this is chickamauga still all it takes is one bite and everything changes in the area of the uh, lake that i'm fishing in i've seen an 11 pounder come out of here i've seen a 10 pounder come out of here I've seen several eights sevens and so the fish are here it's whether we can get them to eat or not but yeah guys just never give up we we'll keep on pounding on them here like i said about 30 minutes to let that rest and we're gonna head back in there and see if we can catch our third fish Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. It's over with for today. We gave it the old college try. I'll tell you that much. We really did freaking try, but we just came up one short of a limit. So, got two fish in the boat. Had the, uh, had the third one that we needed to have our limit and he came off but you know what it is what it is so we're gonna go to check in and get my points and some mexican food and then i'm heading back to knoxville way and uh yeah so caught both fish that i did today texas rig weightless max scent general seven foot fantasia x rod 300 size zeta and uh some 20 pound braid to a 10 pound traveling fluorocarbon leader I have no idea what I placed in this tournament. You guys will have to stick around to the very end to find that out because they turned the standings off. Uh, but good start to the year. You know, I'm, I'm back on that angler of the year race, grind, whatever you want to call it. I mean, obviously this isn't the start you want for that, but uh, regardless, points, points towards that. You know, they only take the top like four tournaments or whatever. So we've got some points towards that goal, which is good. And, uh, Looking forward to better tournaments as the year goes on. Next month is a little lake called Chihaui, a little mountain lake called Chihaui. If you guys have never heard of that one, it's a wild little place. I'm sure it's going to be brutally cold and the wind's probably going to blow about 100 miles an hour, but we got to go up there and we got to find some fish. And so that's the next tournament I've got on the board to do. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's been a tough day. It's been a tough tournament, but you guys coming and clicking on these videos and watching them really, uh, really just, it's, it's cool that you guys do that for me. But as always, you guys are sweet. Thank you for watching.